Hi Chuckets, I have been following you and watching your YouTube channel for years. I have decided to finally relocate to Las Vegas and want to start a new chapter in my life. I know you're the perfect realtor to help guide me to find my next dream home. I am looking for a modern kitchen, large backyard with a pool and a golf course community. My name is Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, a licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I help buyers like this all the time. So if you're looking for a licensed professional, give us a call at 702-319-1092 or visit lvhomeexperts.com. Buying a home starts here. All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. This is your first time tuning in to this channel. My name is Chuck, it's Crusoe. So today I'm here in a community called Landings at Sararo by KB Homes, located out here in the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley. This two gated community, well, this gated community that has two access points, one on the north and one on the south, Here consists of, what, 280 homes. Now we have, I think a total of seven floor plans to choose from, but there are four models. We already did the video tours on here. This one too. Now we're gonna finish it up on this one, which is my favorite model, which is the 2469. Now what I like about this model is based upon the price of $439,990 for elevation A, for a two-story, you have an option for a four to five bedroom and two and a half to four baths with a two-car garage. Now, the reason why I like this one is because on the rental side and the way that you can spec this thing out, you will definitely get so much bang out of your buck. However, you're gonna have to spend the money on the structural. Now, you see this outline here. It goes like that, all the way down here. This would be your two-car garage, okay? All this right here would just be pavers because this is your driveway. Now let's go inside. Let me show you what I'm actually talking about here as we come on in. So you can see we got the keypad, re-key. Now this one's a little bit unique. Let me show you why. Here's your two car garage here. Here's your coat closet, okay? Down here, you have an option to do a den, a bedroom, okay? This wall right here would be blocked off. This would be your room. I would turn this into a guest. Here we have our quarter bath, right? You can actually do three quarter bath here. So this would be perfect for a guest. Down here would be your closet. So this is your closet here, okay? Now let me show you, look how open this floor plan is but you definitely need to do the nine foot ceilings you got to do the eight foot slide here okay in order to get this effect which would be a, a structural upgrade but as you can see it's just a complete open floor plan now a couple things that i would do here okay because we want to minimize the cost and get as much as money out of we can number one i probably want to do the laminate floors because for me on the rental side um i want to build out this home, spec out the home to the point where it's more durable for renters. So they actually have these tiles, 18 by 18 porcelain tiles, kind of more of on a gray side. And I would do the whole first floor, okay? The countertops here, now you gotta kind of make it a little bit more modern. So one thing that I would definitely do is I would do the shaker cabinets, I would probably go white, and then also do the quartz countertops here, okay? Now, another upgrade that I would do is the 42 upper cabinets with the crown. Now, that's the standard crown that comes with it. However, um, I believe they don't allow you to do the upgrade on the crown, so I would get the pink color here, go out and buy my own crown, which you could do for fairly cheap, right? Three inches straight edge and run it all the way across. Here, I would definitely do the cook countertops and spend that money because I want to kind of keep it more on the luxury side too as well for future flipping purposes. Then here I would definitely do the under mounted sink. I would probably stay away from this gooseneck here, especially with this Moen, because these are going to be about 800 bucks. So I would go something a little bit cheaper on the spec. Keep the Whirlpool packages appliances. Another upgrade here would be this cabinet above. Definitely do that for extra space. Now the handles here, 
these handles I would buy after market because uh, with the builders it's just gonna cost you more money and I could do this on aftermarket with uh, Amazon for a lot cheaper okay also with the uh, hand pulls too as well soft closing cabinets I would not do the soft closing cabinets okay so I would stay away from that there's no sense to upgrade on the cabinets at this price point uh, the backyard here the backyard is probably a good probably 12 feet deep or a 12 foot setback now the landscaping on the backyard I would probably keep it all synthetic I would just probably just keep it like this synthetic grass just do some rocks a little bit plants here and there I would spend no more than about four thousand dollars five thousand dollars just to do the backyard cover patio forget the cover patio and I'm just talking based upon you know a rental now if you want to go ahead and do the cover patio I would definitely do the aluminum at sixteen dollars a square foot anything above that I think you're overpaying like I said guys this is like my favorite model out of them all a couple upgrades that I would do that's mandatory would actually be the can lighting these are the traverse LED lights so it's something that I would do it already comes with the pre-wire for the ceiling fan and also the the cat six and the coax there too as well okay now let's make our way upstairs one thing i want to mention hoas here are about 51 dollars there are no sids and lids for future reference here instead of the pony wall i would definitely do the banister carpet all the upstairs definitely carpet upstairs not even worried about it because the carpet i can get away with three dollars a foot and the pad alone right on the pad alone a lot of people are not aware of it. I would just kind of keep the lower grade of the pad. French doors here. Now, I wouldn't do the French doors because you wouldn't get that money back. However, where I would get the money back would actually be the can lighting. Here, I would definitely do the four can lighting and the pre-wire for the ceiling fan for sure. And then your pre-wire for your coax and your Cat 6, which I believe already comes standard with it. Okay. Now this is a decent size primary. Now I like how the fact that they put this mirror here, because now with the mirror, let me check myself out. Okay, I'm looking fresh. You like you guys like the green today? Let me know. Got the matching shoes too as well, which is I think is kind of cool. All right, enough about me. Walking closet. One of the things with the walking closet, I would definitely get rid of this chicken wire. I mean, I feel like I'm at a chicken fight right now, right? I would actually do wood planks, boom, boom, two of them, have shelving go all the way across this way like that. So now you're getting one for your jeans and also one for your, uh, what do you call, clothes. This is a two panel door. This is a upgrade here. I would definitely just do the standard six panel. Here, this would actually make sense to do this upgrade. You got three, I think three configurations here. You could do the the tub shower combo, which uh, I would say no, but this would be a structural upgrade. This is just a good selling feature and all the plumbing is already ran because if you try to do this aftermarket, it just wouldn't be cost effective, right? Cabinet, same thing here. Now in the wet areas, I would do the same 18 by 18 that's downstairs with the porcelain tile for the spec. The uh, texture, I would just do the standard orange peel texture. Uh, the baseboards, with the baseboards, because I want to keep it more modern, spend that money on the baseboards, I would do the six inch uh, straight edge, the way it is right here. Now this is what I like about this, is because now you have a second living area, which is the loft area. Now the loft area, you're definitely gonna have to add four can lighting for the resale part. I would get rid of the distribute sounds or the surround sounds as well, okay? Definitely do a ceiling fan option pre-wire, but I probably wouldn't put a ceiling fan. But then right here, right, I believe you have to upgrade on the Cat 6 and the coax cable. I would definitely do that with the Smurf tube as well. Here we have a bedroom. So this one shows or features as a five bedroom. So what are we in bedroom three? Because technically one would be downstairs. We've already went into the primary, that's two. Then this is the third one, right? Now, as you can see, this one only has the half hot light. 
pre-wired for the ceiling fan. So I would probably get away with that. And that's what I would do. As you can see now, this is a three rocker switch. I believe I explained the situation of how to wire your home in the last plan. So check that on out. I forget what model that was, but I broken it all down as far as pre-wiring how to wire your home. Coming into bedroom number four. Okay, bedroom number four. I would do the same thing right here. Three rocker switch with the pre-wire ceiling fan and add the ceiling fans. You can get away with a ceiling fan or about 350 bucks for the hunters. Here, this is an upgrade that I would definitely do. Two sinks on here, right? Because we have the two bathrooms, uh, two bedrooms. And I would leave this as tub shower combo, just the way it is. Now coming into this bedroom here, okay, I would do this. I would turn this into, and this is an option, into another suite. How does this suite work? You have your bathroom here, closet gets moved over here, it downsizes the, uh, the room a little bit. However, now you have bathroom here, bathroom there, bathroom there, so it's one, two, three, then four downstairs, right? So you have four bathrooms. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four bathrooms. See, that? that's what I'm talking about. Now, what's great about this is now you're hitting all targets. For 2,500 square feet of a home, now when you want to rent out the home or each individual room, you can charge $600, $700 per room. And pretty much everybody kind of gets their own bathroom. Now, if you sell it to somebody that has a family, has a mother-in-law, right? Mom, dad could stay in here. They have their own privacy. Let's say if you had guests, the guests can come actually downstairs. Your kids could say, um, stay on these two rooms here. Then you have your own room right here. So all I'm saying is we have to take a look at the, the spec of the home because now it opens up more of a demographics on the resale. You're not just tied to one sector of the market. Hopefully all this is making sense. Now, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to tune in every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time where we talk about real estate and financing on the LV Home Experts podcast. Now, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, by showing the love, by showing the support, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and also hit that thumbs up too as well. Especially you guys that have been watching this on your TV screen right now. Give me a thumbs up. Show the love by showing the support because it helps out the algorithm. Now, we definitely would love the opportunity to earn your business. There's no charge to you whatsoever by hiring us to helping you walking you through the process of purchasing your home today. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Walt with Simply Vegas. And be blessed, folks. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.